In this lecture of the cardiovascular system, we're going to talk about the cardiac cycle, heart sounds, and cardiac output. Next, we'll discuss the cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle are all of the events that occur in a single heartbeat. And the events that occur in a single heartbeat are the alternating contractions and relaxations of the heart. Contractions of the myocardium is what we call systole. And during systole, the myocardium of the chambers contract, causing the chambers to squeeze blood out. Relaxation of the myocardium is what we call diastole. And during diastole, the myocardium of the chambers relax, allowing the chambers to fill with blood. There are three phases of the cardiac cycle. The first phase is called atrial systole. During atrial systole, the atria contract, forcing blood into the ventricles. The second phase of the cardiac cycle is called ventricular systole. And during ventricular systole, the ventricles contract, forcing blood either into the pulmonary trunk or into the aorta. And finally, the last phase of the cardiac cycle is atrial and ventricular diastole. During atrial and ventricular diastole, both chambers, atria and ventricles, relax, allowing blood to passively fill each chamber. Heart sounds are due to the heart valves closing. And there are two types of heart valves. One heart valve is called the atrioventricular valve. It's the valves found between the atria and the ventricles. And the other set of valves are what we call semilunar valves, which are found between ventricles and either the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. The first heart sound that you hear is due to the atrioventricular valves closing. We call this lub. And the second heart sound is due to the semilunar valves closing. We call this dub. So when you hold a stethoscope up to your heart and you're listening to your heartbeat, you're actually hearing lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. And this is all due to the cusps of the valves slapping against one another while they're closing. And the last topic of discussion for this lecture is cardiac output. Cardiac output is the volume of blood pumped out of a ventricle in one minute. Cardiac output is dependent on two factors. The first factor is what we call heart rate, or the beats per minute. The second factor is what we call stroke volume, which is the amount of blood pumped by a ventricle each contraction. To determine the cardiac output of a heart, you simply have to multiply the heart rate times the stroke volume. 